Hey everyone, it's Jason. So today I want to talk about this curious case of a viral vintage newsreel. Now, I saw this on Twitter and immediately I said, ah, this looks like an interesting case study for eHistory. It's about a minute long and it claims to show a father and a son working as chimney sweepers in 1930s Europe, maybe England. And this has gone viral online. It's got, at the time I'm doing this, 26,000 retweets, 181,000 likes. And it's a really charming piece of footage. It checks all the boxes for clickable and shareable e-history content, what I call e-history content. It's nostalgic, it's visually arresting, it's easily digestible, and it has the potential for shock and controversy because you see this little kid covered in soot. But it's far more complex than it appears on the surface. So okay. let's unpack what happened. Uh, first of all, uh, this is actually a real newsreel, uh, an authentic newsreel, from probably late 1920s, early 1930s. And it's in the collection of a company called British Pathé. And British Pathé is actually the successor to a long line of companies that dates back to an early motion picture house founded by a French family with the name of Pathé. This collection was bought by Warner Brothers, then the Daily Mail, then it split off into its own entity. In the 2010s, that entity began placing its archives on social media. And what this company does is they basically sell this type of footage to documentary films, to museums, etc. So they put it up on YouTube. And in February 2022, someone shared it on Imgur, the um, viral photo and meme sharing website. Imgur? Imgur? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Now that site incentivizes memes and virality and sharing, and this uh, got posted with a caption of, this is heartbreaking. And from there, it got 1.5 million views on Imgur. It then jumped over to Reddit, where it was captioned footage of a three-year-old chimney sweep from the 1930s. And again, it got hundreds of thousands of uh, upvotes and shares across Reddit. And finally, it wound up on Twitter, picked up by this account, which is anonymous. We don't know who runs this account, but they call themselves a slice of history. And they're sort of in the business of sending content about history viral online through social networks. So that's kind of a story of how this thing hopped from platform to platform. And along the way, each person who shared it, shared it as a authentic clip of a chimney sweep who's three years old in the 1930s. Well, it turns out that uh, that's probably not what this clip is. Um, there's a lot of reasons why we think that's the case, but first and foremost, uh, young kids doing chimney sweeping work, while that used to be a thing in England and other places, uh, by the 1840s that was outlawed, and certainly in the 1920s and 1930s that was illegal. So it would be very odd for a chimney sweeper to be walking in broad daylight doing an illegal activity and filming it. But the other thing we need to remember is that this was part of a newsreel, and actually it was part of something called a cinemagazine. And these cinemagazines were basically like the cosmopolitan and vogue of their day. They're targeted towards women, they're light, they're fluffy, lighthearted material that was meant to be um, leisurely and fun and basically like fluff. And a lot of times for these cinemagazines and newsreels, if uh, the cameraman did not have the footage that they needed, they would take it from other sources or they would actually just shoot it themselves and pass it off as being authentic. These cameramen did a lot of fakeries and forgeries in order to tell the story they wanted to tell. So this particular newsreel was called Eve's Film Review and it was created by a man named Fred Watts who produced it. And for whatever reason, he decided to do a little story about chimney sweeping and they grabbed this footage. And this footage, actually, if you do some sleuthing online, you can find these same father-son pair uh, in magazines. You can find other photographs of them dated to different times. So what it seems like is actually there was at some point in Berlin, Germany, actually, and you can tell by the German on the shop windows, there was a photo shoot and a camera shoot where they dressed up as chimney sweeps. Maybe they were chimney sweeps. Maybe they were actors. Uh, and they did this little performance of being a father-son chimney sweeping duo and then that got reprinted in magazines and integrated into this cinema magazine this newsreel 
and, and passed off as authentic. But of course, none of the uh, captions online talked about this, right? To, in order to get to that story, you would have to have done some research, had some context, known a little bit about newsreels and cinema magazines, but that's not what happened here. And so ultimately, this got shared across the web as being something that, in fact, it wasn't. Uh, it got shared as a simple self-evident story that was, in fact, much more complicated. And in the process, we get to see how this type of e-history circulates online, getting crowdsourced from platform to platform, having a sort of nostalgic component to it, being very visually arresting, right? This image of the dirty kid, which kind of stops you in, the tr in your tracks and also having a sort of newsworthiness to it, a virality to it that kind of suggests that, uh, you know, it's the opposite of our modern sensibilities. There's some shock and some controversy involved. And so this was really, in some ways, a perfect storm for e-history, combining multiple aspects of e-history into something that could become very shareable and very packageable online. So, you know, when you see something like this on the web uh, and you want to assess it, you, maybe you want to share it, you should think about a couple things. First, ask who created this. Ask if I should accept this at face value. Ask if I need more context. And ask how and why did this come to my attention? And then you can also think about, was this crowdsourced? And if so, who is in that crowd? Uh, what mechanism is it using to appear in my feed? Is it, is it trying to be viral? Is it trying to be newsworthy? Is it trying to visually grab my attention? And is there something else I need to understand about this piece of e-history should I really share it if I know so little about it? So, you know, the, the web is set up to incentivize this striving for virality and to use content and out of context online in order to do that. But if we understand the dynamics below the surface, then we can ask better questions about the material we're seeing. And that, I think, is the lesson from this very curious case of the viral vintage newsreel.